Greetings, greetings, greetings. My name is Paul Mitchum, Mile23 on Drupal.org, and I'm here to tell you how to do a code review. Um, well, some kind of codes re code reviews. This is a this is a specific type of code review. Here's let's scroll up to this issue name. So this is for Drupal.org. Um, the issue here is number two three eight five two zero nine, and what we're doing is um, I am trying the, the the issues. There's a there's a bunch of these. There's a meta for this. Let's look at them. Look at all the issues for this meta. There's um, what we're trying to do here is we are trying to make sure that all tests for simple tests for modules have the proper uh, style of you know for coding standards of using camel case for property names of classes and um, and not using underscores. Okay, so um, for instance, um, right here, I happen to know is, oh, this one got changed because I changed, I, I applied the, the uh, patch here, look. So here's, a, here's all the changes that this patch made. This is the patch that's in this issue right here. It's, the, it's this patch. Hello. And so um, I'm going to get reset hard. Boink, there we are, right? And so if we go back here, we'll see um, that this is a, uh, a a property, a protected property of this class, and it has an underscore in its name, which is bad. And the reason that's bad is because it's the coding standards say it's, say it's bad. Um, also, it makes you know makes it easier to distinguish between um, properties and local variables because it's allowed in local variables. So down here we have random text here, right? We have a, te a method and random text has an underscore and that's perfectly good because we can distinguish between what's a local property and what's not. Um, so that out of the way, um, it's all codified in the coding standard and the coding standard is then codified into a um, a code sniffer standard, which uh, is available through the coder module. Um, let's see. I'm, this is a little thing I've made called NetBeans Drupal Composed. It's, a, it's one of my sandbox projects. You can find it. It's not hard to find. Just Google NetBeans Drupal Composed. I'm pretty sure it's the only result. Um, anyway, so it this will set you up with coding with with uh, PHPCS code sniffer, and it will set you up with the um, coder standard. Um, there's some instructions here on how to do it. I, I did a blog post on it as well to tell you how to set it up. Okay, so set that up using NetBeans and then we can proceed. Now, if so, I want to make sure I'm what I'm currently doing is I am trying to evaluate this patch. I want to find out if this patch is complete. I have, I'm going to give you a spoiler here and tell you that it's not, <laughs> but um, so we're going to discover how it's not complete. I'll show you. So um, here is, let's just close that. So I'm going to go back over here again. Um, so we have its status. We have um, a, a patch. That's the patch. And I'm going to apply it. Get apply, clean up something, All right? Now we have a whole bunch of files that have been changed by this patch. That's good because it means, right? Now, the coding standard that we're looking for is one where the class property has underscore in it, okay? So, Using NetBeans Drupal Compose and using PHP CSMD uh, plugin for NetBeans, as I explained in that note, that blog post that I was just looking at, um, I can simply right-click on the the um, folder that I'm looking at, which is tests in this case, because we're we're concerning ourselves with tests, and I can say scan for violations, and it will give me this window. 
and um, I want to use PHPCS because I have it all configured to use the proper coding standard. Um, and I want a real scan. Um, this this plugin for NetBeans distinguishes between actually doing the physical a scan of physical files versus reloading in previous results. In this case, it doesn't matter because I haven't done it yet. But um, so I rescan the files. You'll note that there are 104 files right here. Um, and some of them will pass. Some of them won't have coding standard issues. But these are the ones that do have coding standards issues. And you can see errors versus warnings. Um, and like, for instance, module test has 12 errors and 23 warnings. That's a lot. Um, but we don't care. We only care about one kind of error right now because that's the scope of this issue we're working on. So do, 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 waiting for 104 files. You'll recall, do, 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 waiting for it to finish. Do, 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 do. <laughs> By the way, this is a scan report window. Anyway, so we have 89 files listed um, out of 104. So there's some that didn't have er any errors at all. Bravo. <clears throat> so here we see all these files. And I could, I could do this. I could uh, open one up. And by the way, NetBeans is kind of sluggish when where this is concerned. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. But so I can open one up uh, and I can scroll down a little bit and I can look and see if because this is what it looks like when you have a coding standard error. Um, in this case, we hover over this little thing to find out what the error is. Uh, if the line declaring an array spans longer than 80 characters, each element should be broken into its, into its own line. That's not the error we're looking for. It is an error, but it's not the one we're looking for. These are not the errors we're looking for. Here we see field name, and we can tell that the patch applied it because of this green uh, margin. So in this case, some of these things get added. It's um, a little and This patch is not the best example of this, but whatever. Anyway. So um, here we, again, we see the same thing. It's a red bar. Um, PHP, I'm sorry, NetBeans is giving us an error that says method length is 55 long, lines long, which is another thing you can set up. But here's the error, missing function dot comment. That's actually meaningful, but you know, whatever, we don't care about that error right now. So let's just close that. So I could go through all of them like that to discover whether or not they have that error. But I can also click on this thing right here, PHPCS tab, and look, it tells us the error and the file and the line number. So if I sort the descriptions, I can go down to the, let's see, so class property column map should use cam, lower camel naming instead, right? So that's the error we're looking for because it has the underscore in it, and it's a class property. So I can actually double click that, I think, I hope, and it will take us to it. It's field web test line 34. Again, NetBeans is super sluggish. Um, I don't know any other system that will give you this kind of specificity on a, um, on a, on, on like a report of these kinds of, um, coding standards errors, but um, if, you know, if, if, so therefore I'm using NetBeans to do this because it's, um, I can, I can make it work even though it's sluggish. And there it is, column map should be column map. And we can uh, use NetBeans to do this. And if you check it out here, look, Column map is unused, at least according to this refactoring. The only reason it's there, um, oh wait, column map. Oh, it might be for um, one of the views testing base classes because it's setting up this column map thing. So I bet this test will, will fail, although it should. Well, hmm. Anyway, so that would require a little bit more thought 
um, and that's not what this is about. We, what, it's, what we're talking about here is that I can make this report of all the coding standard errors. I can find the one that I want, which is this one, because that's the one I'm trying to solve, right? And the one I'm trying to review. If you missed any, it'll show up here. And so I can review that patch and say that there's an error here Right, I can do that. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I, I won't bore you with that. Um, but here we go. So that you're, there you go. That's the that's my um, my NetBeans tutorial of the day. Thank you very much.